Hello guys, I'm Shridja with another tutorial and this is slightly different, it's on Adobe After Effects and I suggest learning it and uh, because I I watched Slamacow's tutorial and it seems pretty important now to learn it, it makes your videos look professional and you can do camera tracking and stuff like that in Adobe After Effects and add uh, cool effects like in Slamacow's new animation, earth bending, all the particles and the dust effects I made in Adobe After Effects and I suggest searching what it is if you don't know what it is so as you can see I've, I learned this depth of field sort of look and it's pretty simple uh, I got it from Slamacow's tutorial on how to use RPF format and you can actually use it in Cinema 4D also uh, and he uses 3 Days Max if you didn't know and okay so let's get to the tutorial um, oh by the way blur is coming here and it's kind of focusing in this area over here okay so tutorial time uh, so let's w watch my watch my make how to import a minecraft fold uh, just watch that tutorial and you should know how to do this and if you have so much lag and you can't move around just click uh, just go under the options and change configure all and off the wireframe. Now you should be able to move around it uh, while selecting the set. You can scale it up and down, but you know, whatever. Uh, so I'm gonna on that back. Okay, so let's find a good place. I'm just gonna take another picture from the same place because that's the best place to demonstrate the depth of field. And I'll go into more detail later of how it works. Uh, okay, where's my house? Where's my house? Oh, there is my house. Um, okay, so I want to show that you can blow out these trees over here. Okay, now let's get the roof sliding, the most basic physical sky. Then go to this and go to output. I don't know, 80, whatever, 720. Gonna make this fast. Name it test or something. Oh, you can do this for animations also. And say if you're making animation, just open this out like this and then make a new folder. And then save it in this folder uh, if it's animation. And make sure, since it's a picture, I'm just gonna save it like that, not in a folder. But if it's an animation, it's gonna like render out so many pictures, and you don't want your desktop or whatever place you're saving it on just to mess it up all, <laughs> just to mess up everything. So make sure you have it in a new folder. And now let's make a RPF, make it a RPF. And this contains 3D data, and it's specially made for things like After Effects, Combustion, Final Cut, Seven, Motion, Shake stuff like that so so it's compatible with that and just save it to the whatever place and okay so now effects global illumination make fast render weak uh, okay so now go into to make it even faster go into preferences under edit render and on this and change it to like 10 or something uh, this increases the amount of squares that renders out uh, your stuff. I'll show you what I mean uh, later. Okay, like that. Uh, okay, so now let's render. Okay, as you can see, there are more squares now because we changed that thing under preferences. Uh, so it loads a bit faster. My computer is not very good, so it loads kind of slow, as you can see. So I'm gonna pause it. Finish rendering, and I'm in now Adobe After Effects CS5 six. I like that. Um, I just got it a week ago, so I'm kind of newbie at newbie at it. So I don't know what I'm doing really, but I figured out a way to do. Not I didn't figure it out. Someone showed me on a tutorial. I put his channel link in the description. He helped me out. Uh, get Adobe After Effects and stuff like that. Uh, I'm not gonna tell you how, but I got it. <laughs> and yeah, uh, full version. Uh, so 
let's load in the picture we just made uh, it should be like this uh, oh and if it's an um, animation you should have a new folder like this and all the other things should be inside it all the RPFs that it made and you should just drag it into there and it should drag the folder which has all the RPFs in there then it should like automatically do its things okay so we have our picture and just drag it onto the composition tag and um, yeah so let's start adding effects to it uh, okay so 3d channel and this is basically the thing so drag it onto that and you should now see it's already mapped out because it's RPF format normally we do it manually which takes forever trust me and then you would have to make these colors to indicate how far away it is and depth of feel is kinda difficult I guess like that uh, but it does it for you so that's incredible and pretty cool so command D to duplicate this thing over here so select this and duplicate it and name this blur something because this is the thing that will blur it and name this the picture and then um, now what do we have to do now okay we delete this on the picture and leave it here leave it on the blur and then get the lens camera lens blur drag it onto the picture go to layer and click on the blur and then we can increase and decrease the focal focal distance so now we just have to find where it is <laughs> my computer is not very good so it will have this, this thing where but as you can see as I go past it it starts to blur out the distance distant thingies and you can invert it uh, okay that looks good okay save if now we need to render it it's a bit different in or you can even change the radius of the blur uh, okay so if you want to render it it's kinda different if you have animation you want to add to render queue and then you should have this here and you want to select this and save it wherever you want and then press render over here and then it should render your animation uh, and if you want to if you want a picture save frame as and file I delete that and okay so now it's a PSD format which is Photoshop I don't know how to change it so just uh, I think I'm not sure if this works but let's try it like that uh, use PSD use both no okay that doesn't work but just save it as whatever test save and it should save it wherever you saved it oh forgot you need to render it done rendering when that makes us make when it makes a uh, sound animations PSD over here whoa, 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 whoa. Hmm. oh that's my previous one okay so PSD just change it to JPEG and okay so now we have our picture just like that so that's pretty cool pretty cool so um you can do this uh let me show you another cool one i'd made but f this is when i was kind of newbie i kind of accidentally made it a dot movie <laughs> when it's supposed to be a picture so it's not a movie actually it's just a picture so this is my set not my set but someone else's set and it's in our animation and our animation is almost done we just need a singer uh, so as you can see the mountain is blurred over here These mo this mountain is blurring a bit the depth of field is not very good uh, you can improve it trust me and you see it's focusing this area here so thanks for watching there's nothing here really <laughs>
hit play nothing uh, and I got partnership you can see sometimes I get ad you, you can you see my ads it's not my ads but it's you see ads on my uh, on my things now uh, sorry for that but <laughs> I have to have some sort of revenue now <laughs> I got 300 subscribers um, quite a bit and yeah so thanks for watching and bye